dear students i am dr kumar assistant professor department of zoology government first grade college shira tumko district the topic of today's lecture is the study of house fly as an important mechanical vector so this comes under paper 4 that is insect vectors and diseases bsc fourth semester zoology tumkur university as all of you know that the house fly acts as a mechanical vector okay so it transmits the disease causing agent from one place to the another place as uh, these house flies are present living everywhere since they are cosmopolitan uh, in uh, distribution and they are very domestic in nature they are very much present near the human habitations since uh, they are present both uh, in the environment as well as uh, in the residential uh, homely environment so they frequently transfer the disease causing agents or the pathogen from outside the uh, houses into the houses where it carries the disease causing agent from the different uh, the habitations like uh, the uh, dead uh, organic waste okay uh, and uh, other uh, the waste which are present in the environment okay they usually uh, they carry the pathogens from the body parts from the body parts itself okay so once they sit on our uh, food naturally this uh, disease causing agents they enter into the food uh, naturally so when we feed on that particular food the pathogen enters into our body okay we need to practice uh, the wash uh, of hands very frequently before eating the food and sometimes so it uh, uh, whenever it uh, uh, sits on the water so it contaminates the water uh, with uh, the disease causing agent okay so when the water is contaminated with the pathogens then also the disease is being transmitted okay so in this way it acts as mechanical vector mechanical vector so here it will not allow the uh, disease causing agent to undergo further development it will not allow the pathogen into the body but uh, only uh, the transmission is, is through only the body surface okay from one place to the other place so that uh, the individuals are naturally affected the house fly that is musca domestica commonly called as house fly is a fly of suborder cyclorapa it is the most common fly common fly species found in the uh, habitations natural habitat adult insects are grayish or black with the four dark longitudinal lines this is another important uh, distinguishing feature as far as the house fly is concerned the adult uh, house fly on the back side okay so uh, there is a gray to black with four dark longitudinal lines are present on the body they have red eyes as a sensory structures and the females are slightly larger than the males females are quite larger the female house fly usually only mates once and stores the sperm for later use okay the female house fly usually only mates uh, once uh, during its uh, lifetime and stores this spermatozoa in the uh, receptacle so these uh, stored spermatozoa are used later on to fertilize the eggs it lays batches of about uh, 100 egg 100 eggs in uh, decaying on the decaying organic matter 
such as the garbage and feces. These soon after the eggs are released into the environment, okay, so these eggs hatches into the legless white maggots. Legless white maggots which after about 2 to 5 days of development they transform into a reddish brown pupae. Okay, so this pupae about uh, <coughs> excuse me, 8 millimeters in length. Adult flies normally leave for about uh, 2 to 4 weeks. The lifespan of the adult flies are about uh, 2 to 4 weeks but can hibernate during the winter in order to uh, come out of these uh, environmental extremities during uh, uh, the winter extremes of uh, cold temperature okay so in order to uh, come out with uh, come out of uh, with uh, this uh, winter situation they undergo the hibernation adult house flies grows up to 8 to 12 millimeters in length the thorax is grayish in color, sometimes even black, with four longitudinal dark lines on the back side. The whole body is covered with hair-like projections. Sensory hairs are present. The females are uh, slightly larger than males and have a much larger space between their uh, red compound eyes. These are the distinguishing uh, features and sexual dimorphism is also present in the house fly. The adult feeds on variety of uh, liquids, semi-liquid substances besides solid materials which have been softened by saliva. Not only feeds on the liquid and semi-liquid components but it also feeds on solid substances uh, before feeding on the solid substances they usually uh, they releases the saliva on the solid substances so that it becomes liquefied. The liquid food ultimately it will be feed it. They carry pathogens on their body surface, on their bodies and their uh, in their feces, and can contaminate the food and contribute to the transfer of foodborne diseases or the illnesses. They carry the pathogens from body parts okay like legs, uh, the, um, the abdomen, the head uh, antennas okay like this okay. So it uh, carries the pathogens from one place to the another place. Usually the pathogens are carried from outside environment to the houses where the uh, the food substances are present and uh, watery substances are present so those are getting contaminated by passing by sitting on that particular area so that the water and food get contaminated when we feed uh, uh, on this uh, the contaminated the food and water naturally the disease causing agent the pathogen enters into our body so this is what is called as mechanical transmission of the pathogen or the parasite uh, into the body and the, here the vector is the uh, housefly musca domestica. As far as the disease transmission is concerned, the housefly as a vector can transmit the infectious agents from one place to the another place or from one individual to the another individual without permitting an infectious agent to undergo further development. This is important. Why it is called as mechanical transmission? Why it is not called as biological transmission? This is very important. Okay. So here we are discussing housefly as an important mechanical vector. Mechanical transmission here refers to it, it permits uh, an infectious agent uh, so it transmits the infectious agent from one place to the another place or from one, one individual to another without permitting the infectious agent to undergo further development as such. Okay. So 
it will transmit the disease causing agent or the pathogen from one place to the other place as such that's it okay it will not allow at any cost or during at any circumstances it will not allow the disease causing agent to undergo further development okay so this kind of transmission this mode of transmission of pathogen is called as mechanical transmission they can serve as a this uh, in this context the house fly musca domestica serves as a vehicle it acts as a middleman okay it serves as a vehicle whereby the infectious agent is conveyed from one host to the another without undergoing a stage of development or multiplication so this is known as the mechanical transmission the house fly may cause disease in humans and the animals including the uh, typhoid cholera bacillary dysentery tuberculosis anthrax and also diarrhea the pathogenic organisms are picked up by the flies from garbage sewage and other sources and then transferred on their mouth pods to their vomitus feces and contaminated external body parts to the humans and also the animal food the most important damage related to this insect is the annoyance and the indirect damage produced by the potential transmission of more than 100 pathogens associated with this fly so in this way of mechanical transmission the house fly can able to transfer or transmit more than 100 different kinds of pathogens from one place to the other place from one individual to the other individual so that it causes diseases in human beings as well as the animals the most important damage related to with this insect is the uh, annoyance the same okay so that the indirect uh, damage produced by the potential transmission of more than 100 pathogens associated with this fly so this slide clearly shows how the disease causing agent or the pathogens are being uh, uh carried and transferred uh from one place to another place so that the animals and the human beings are usually uh affected where the pathogen enters into the body so as a consequence both animals and human beings are affected more than 100 in this way more than 100 different kinds of pathogens are being transmitted from one place to the another place from one individual to the other individual and this in this way the house fly acts as uh, one of the important mechanical vector in order to transmit the more than 100 disease causing agents so this is all about the uh, musca domestica house fly how it acts as a mechanical uh, vector in order to transmit the disease causing agent from one place to the other place these are the reference materials along with the links dear students this is the time of uh, the covid 19 pandemic the second wave is being operating now take uh, precautions wash your hands frequently uh, using uh, the soap and uh, sanitize your hands wear face covering or face mask maintain physical distance of at least 2 uh, meters between the individuals stay home stay safe save lives thank you